In this video, I'm going to focus specifically on using GNU plot to do some fitting. Uh, the file that I'm going to fit is a file called brownian.dat, which is two columns, 1,024 rows of, uh, of, of numbers. The first row is taken to be an index, or the, the x-axis, and the, I'm sorry, the first column is taken to be the x-axis, and the second column is taken to be the y-axis. And this is a Brownian motion trace. So let me show you what it looks like. Start up a new plot. And I'm going to set my terminal type to WXT enhanced. And let me plot my data. So here's my data, and <clears throat> I think I want to fit between, uh, let's say I'll fit a straight line between, uh, how about, between 500 and 1024. So let me zoom in and show you what that's going to look like. So I zoom in on my x-axis between 5000 in 1024 and this is the section of the plot that I'm going to be fitting with a straight line. So let me specify my straight line. I set f of x is equal to a times, how about this, a plus b times x and I'm going to fit between 500 and 1024 using the function that I just defined f of x Oops, in my data file, brownian.dat, using or by varying the parameters a and b. So here's my fit. This is <clears throat> this is my reduced chi squared. Here is my slope parameter in the uncertainty in the percent uncertainty, and here's my offset, the uncertainty in, in the offset, and the percent uncertainty. And these are the elements of my correlation matrix. So let me plot the fit line in the data, one on top of the other. And this is my best fit line through my data. So this is the straight line. Let's now fit a polynomial. So let me add to this c times x squared. And for this, maybe I want to fit a different region. Maybe I want to fit, um, let me fit between, uh, let's say, 275 and 675 using my parabola. So now here's my, my three fit parameters, A, B, and C. Their uncertainties, their percent uncertainties. Of course, here's my chi-square per degree of freedom. Oh, and also I should have mentioned this too. These are the, uh, the root mean square of the residuals. So let's plot this again, the, uh, the fit line in my data. And let's, uh, let's do from 275 to 675. And here's my best fit line. So this is how to how to fit um, using GNU plot. So I hope this is helpful.